Hi, I'm Pete Delahorse from Crown Plastics Company, and welcome to this edition of Make It Stick, the video series where we take difficult to adhere to substrates and utilizing our unique capability here at Crown Plastics Company, we can make our Duracerf UHNW products virtually stick to any type of substrate. Today we're going to be discussing some of the ins and outs of bonding to wood. Now as you can see, wood can be very challenging on a number of fronts. Number one, wood is very porous, okay? Typically pressure sensitive systems are not going to work very well with porous substrates. You also have a lot of different textures. Here for instance we have plywood, and again fairly smooth but you're going to be dealing with knots and voids and so forth. But then another popular wood that's used quite a lot is, is this wafer board. They use a lot of this wafer board in lining shelving or uh, worktops uh, in a lot of industrial applications. Another thing to keep in mind is that wood also emits oil. So this is another thing that does create a challenge when you're bonding uh, or maybe attempting to bond with a pressure sensitive system. What we would recommend in this type of scenario would be a liquid adhesive system such as a contact cement or an epoxy system. Again, what you can do is take the UHMW material, we would use what we call our treated for bonding technology, where we will take the UHMW, we'll actually abrade it, do our flame etching process to it, which will again increase the surface energy and allow it to accept adhesive, and using the contact cement system, uh, allow it to bond uh, and get a very good uh, adhesion to wood. Now if you're dealing with either sealed wood or laminated wood, these are scenarios where a pressure sensitive system will be fine because since we have that seal on there, now you've got a very smooth substrate and you're also blocking the, the porosity and the oil emission out of the wood itself. So you can take a pressure sensitive system on a sealed wood and again using a roller get very good adhesion to wood. Or in the case of a laminated wood, it would be the same type of scenario. Because now that the wood has been sealed, again you should be able to very easily get a pressure sensitive system to adhere. And again making sure you get use that mechanical pressure to ensure a good high quality bond. Another application where this type of product would be appropriate is on the inside of tractor trailers. Normally they will have plywood similar to this, which would be mechanically fastened on the side of the tractor trailer. Invariably what happens though is skids will gouge this wood, or in many cases forks themselves will gouge and dig into the wood, creating a damage problem and a potential liability issue. But by actually coating the plywood with the UHMW, now you have a a surface that has a very good low coefficient of friction, very good impact and skid resistance. So as that skid hits the UHMW, it's going to slide off and it's going to help that truck align that skid into the back of the trailer without damage. And again, we can help reduce some liability issues there as well. So what are the three things that we want to take away as far as bonding to wood? Number one, keep in mind that wood is porous. Okay, pressure sensitive systems typically are not going to work with porous substrates. Wood would be considered a, sex, a textured substrate and wood also emits oil. These are all things that are going to create challenges to pressure sensitive systems. What we would typically recommend on an untreated wood would be our treated for bonding product. If it is a sealed or a laminated wood, a pressure sensitive system will work fine. But these are things that all need to be taken care of or taken into consideration when you're selecting an adhesive for bonding to wood. Again, I'm Pete Ellahorst with Crown Plastics Company. If you have a substrate that you would like to see featured in our Make It Stick series, please let us know. You can contact us by going to our website at www.crownplastics.com and you can email me directly at pete at crownplastics.com. We appreciate you checking out our video today and come back again where we can show how we can make our DuraSurf tape stick for you. Thank you very much.